So we are done with the belfry. It was very nice, but a lot of exercise and really hard, really difficult to get up there. But I think it's doable even if you have fear of heights. It's challenging, but still doable. If I did it, you can do it. Let's say it like that. Yeah. And now, yeah, I'm gonna get the waffle as a reward. Uh, that one? Chez Albert, oh uh, yeah. And then we go to the town hall or do something else. So that's how a Belgian wafer looks like here in Brugge at the Chez Albert. Oh, the camera is a bit crazy right now. So, yeah. Let's see if I'm able to break it. Hot. Is it hot? Yeah. Right. <laughs> that is great. Okay, good. And the town hall. When you visit the town hall, you are told to go upstairs, where there is a big hall full of wall paintings and intertwined arcs. The layout and inner architecture make it look like a special room only used for events such as feasts, council meetings and maybe even weddings. And this is how Brugge looked like in the 11th century. It was a very important city during the Carolingian regime and here is where they used to mint coins in Brugge and where the barracks, so the castle of the city was built. So that was the town hall. It was interesting to learn a bit about uh, Brugge. Yeah. Yeah. There was not much, but still, at least some educational content. And now we are going to the Brugse Freie, which is also included. Yeah, I think it was the former court, and now it's an archive. Yeah. But I might be wrong. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We are gonna... Although it might be right, because it does look a bit like a court building, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. We're gonna see if that's right. So in Brugge there was the biggest um, yeah, free territory of Belgium. Uh, or Flanders, sorry. You can see it here. And then somewhere else we have Kortrijk, Alst, Dendermonde, where we are staying. And um, they were like territorial unions that got together financially. Um, they formed one economy and I guess they didn't levy taxes on each other, a bit like countries nowadays. can see this room, it looks very well ornamented with a lot of wealth from the past centuries. We are done with the Brugse Freie and the town hall yeah well i think it was not much information but well it's free with the museum pass so we cannot complain and uh, we understand that this is a very touristic place so there's gonna be less offered yeah so far the adornes domain is the best museum in Brugge. yeah and the less crowded one yeah and that's where we were, the tower. 
now maybe we go over here to the museum of the lace making history of Brugge voila This is really hard, it's just like, we don't know where to look. It's all very beautiful, it's everywhere you look, you find something that is amazing. And this area is less crowded or not crowded at all, in fact. Everyone just flocks to the center, to the belfry and the town hall, the main monuments. Canals. The St. Anna Church. A boat tour. We were not so lucky to get one, but if you are, don't miss it. I've heard it's completely worth it. we said at the beginning Brugge is very famous for its lace making history they used to use these things to make laces manually and now they are displayed here at a museum owned by the same family of the museum that we visited before um, I don't remember the name of the family Adornus. Adornus, yeah. In the Netherlands is it because of the banana on the side, and that it's something on the side of the other side. Many of these blue strokes, in the middle of the the carpet of the top. These beautiful laces by hand. It's really impressive. Twist the two outside bones on each side. Cross the two shoulder bones. Sounds complicated. Yes. I already forgot. So we are done with the museum of the lace making in Birche. Definitely a very beautiful museum. You can also do activities upstairs like making laces yourself, learning how to make them. We didn't really feel like that because there were already many people we didn't want to disturb so now we are gonna figure out what to do with the rest of our time we can go back but that's a pity when you can stay here longer because we just go with the train so it's very flexible so let's see what we do here in Brugge this might be very beautiful at night the evening and with not so many tourists all the lights the illumination for the canals must be wonderful
again the belfry with all the flags and uh, yeah we're just gonna wander around so uh, we got some soap don't ask why there's a yeah there's a shop here next to the belfry which sells Marseille soaps and they look very good We just were at Dumont Chocolatier, which is here, and uh, we bought a chocolate bar, the cheapest one, 450. <laughs> and uh, you also get to taste one of these for free. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it's a very intense flavor. So we are here at Ellis Burger Bar uh, next to a square close to the Belfry. Uh, it looked quite nice. They have prices that are not so high for Belgium. And here we are taking a lemonade for three euros, but it's homemade lemonade from that tap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we ordered burgers and one portion of fries, so we're gonna eat dinner here and then walk a little in Brussels. So this is how my burger looks like. The fries, Belgian fries, with some sauce, and my wife, yeah, without bread, with a salad. Very cute yeah, very cute pots, yeah. Mm. So let's enjoy. So, uh, we are done with our dinner. Well, there are more horses and uh, machines with horsepower. Um, we discovered uh, an ice cream shop that has uh, Italian ice, ice cream. So we're gonna check that out. If it's a good option to have a dessert, then okay, otherwise we just keep walking. We have like one hour to spend here in Brugge before our train departs. Yeah. Panini? No. No. And of raw meat. Ah, yeah. The... Carpaccio? Yeah, carpaccio. Yeah. Oh. Here's the ice cream. Ice creams. Mm. Ice cream for ice cream. Mm. Here on a street in uh, Brugge. Why was I gonna say Utrecht? I'm not sure. No, but now I can link to the video. While a Spanish child is pooping his pants, I'm filming here the Once Lieve Frauen Kerk, the church of our dear lady. So uh, that was it. Uh, with this horse, uh, we say goodbye. Come on, camera. Hello. Hello. So there. So, um, yeah. That's the horse. And uh, now we are gonna say goodbye. How was Brugge? Good, bad, horrible? Very beautiful. Okay, that's outside of my scale. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yesterday you said Namur is the most beautiful city in Belgium so far. I guess we can correct that statement. Brugge is definitely more beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a must-see city in Belgium. Uh, it's impressive, I mean, the old city is so big, it's like every single street is full of highlights, you cannot say there's 
so you need to see this no you just need to see the whole city center which by the way is uh, UNESCO World Heritage since two, since the year 2000 and uh, all of it like it's pretty big several square kilometers it's a bit like little Venice yeah the Venice of the north yes. bye bye see you in Ghent or Ghent the capital of East Flanders Pero yo quiero ir a los patos y tengo que seguir para por ahí Los patitos es para allá para los primeros que vivo